All right, Scorpio's Builder Blog, we have a special episode for you today. We are going to unveil a new team for season seven. So are you ready to meet the newest contestants to BattleBots? Welcome to the Swamp Shop, home of Swamp Thing. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing in here? <laughs> We recruited her. No, I need her. <laughs> One of us. One of us. So, Rick, now that you're striking out on your own, are you going to be driving this monster? Uh, I'm going to operate the weapon system. Adam's going to be doing the driving. Ah, is this Adam? Yes, Adam. <laughs> so, I haven't seen you around here for a bit. No, you haven't. Tell me about your time at Robo Games. I spent most of my time at Robo Games uh, doing the ant weight stuff, small competitions, uh, the one pounders, and ended up running my own events at Robo Games. This will be my first time driving one of the big guys. Are you excited to be back on the sticks? Yes, extremely. I think he's going to do an awesome job. Awesome job. That's why I. Uh... I chose Adam to be uh, the driver for this team. It's a brand new team. Um, robots are not new to me. I've been around them for about 20 years. But uh, I was tied up with another team for the last 12 years and decided to venture out on my own. Oh my God. Oh, those are there. awesome. There are options. Ooh, but this that one- That is the... staring into my soul. Oh, I love that. But one. this one's not my design. This is- the That's version of what they have. Yeah, yeah. What we want, I love these. Me, me these and Adam, the evolution of it is we amazing. Want, we want to take and put the brows so. on this one, and then um, do the. He likes these on this brows. Yeah, yeah. And sides like and these, these eyes, fins, and that then misshaped eyes. Yeah, so we're yeah, gonna yeah. combine what he likes from them. Okay, and this thing is a wrap around of the front plow, like that. Yeah. <laughs> So that's what's going to be on the front, and you see where the spinner is. That's going to be awesome, Rick. In a uh, powder-coated monster green color, I think it's just going to look awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth that you wanted to know, the two people that won the Scorpios jerseys. The first one is, my girlfriend does not like robotics. <laughs> your YouTube page and recommendation of Hydra One. I know a lot of people recommended Hydra. It's a, it's a good solid pick. And the funny name kind of put this gentleman over the top. We do only have large and extra large jerseys left. So you do have to tell us which of those two you want. And the second one is going to go to my com or Lego Combat Robotics. Uh, your suggestion of Warhead really uh, tickled my fancy because I would love to see that robot come out of retirement the same way Ice Wave and Bronco came out of retirement and they would definitely be a legendary bot that would be amazing to have back. So those are our two picks. Please like and subscribe to the Scorpios Builder Blog. And if you'd like another chance to win a jersey, this week we're giving away a Swamp Thing jersey. So please tell us your favorite thing about Swamp Thing to win one. No, no, this is intimidation factor. I think that this is going to be one of the most powerful spinners out there. All right, here we are recording, doing the first power-up weapon test for Swamp Thing. That was ridiculously quick. Now, I, I do have a question for you, Rick. Yeah. Looking, I know this is like a 30 pound weapon, despite the fact it's really tiny. Uh, is your weapon motor technically heavier than your weapon? It's about uh, 10 pounds heavier than the weapon. It is ridiculous that you have so much power well, going to this thing. And it sounds like an engine roaring. I look at a lot of robots out there, both vertical and horizontal. And when they hit something, the blade stops. 
I go back to the tombstone era. It's like when we would hit something with tombstone, the blade did not stop. So I'm using the same motors that we designed for tombstone in Swamp Thing. And uh, it won't stop. <laughs> we get to full speed before it even gets across the box. And it can get across the box in two seconds, roughly. Uh, corner to corner is about three seconds. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I vaguely remember seeing a, an earlier version of Swamp Thing at season one of BattleBots. Were you an alternate for season one? Yes, I was. I, that's the old Swamp Thing. That's a Swamp Thing that I built and ran with Robo Games for years. Um, it is nowhere near like the other Swamp Thing. This is. A lot of people might think that we've taken and modified the old swamp thing, but if you look down there, that's what's left of the old swamp thing. That's only a 3 8 AR wedge, where this is half inch. And with the vertical spinner and the change in drives, uh, the NPC gearboxes that's used in Tombstone, used in the old swamp thing, are much slower. These, these are much more powerful and about three times the horsepower in the drive system. Wow. I noticed they don't have the cast aluminum, which would commonly fail. Ooh, these this are is custom built. Custom uh, built. If you look at uh, these plates, these plates that I did on our plasma setup and the bearing ring, and then I cut the tubing, put a bearing ring on each side. And then we put press the bearings into each side. It's running a one inch solid steel. These are uh, custom one inch turned. And they're uh, extremely heavy. Did the uh -huh. hub in with the shaft and everything so nothing would spin. So I gotta know, Rick, looking at the original pictures of the first Swamp Thing, it had a beautiful tail. Are you going to be adding that to your creature? We will have a show tail on there that lights up, but it will not be used in combat. Simply because uh, with all the armor and the upgraded weapon system, drive system, we won't have the weight to carry a tail. That tail was about 40 pounds in the original one. So we're gonna we're gonna have a, a nice show tail that lights up, but we'll pull it before we uh, go into combat. Nice. It's gonna be a nice looking machine, really nice. But it's gonna go out there and make a statement also, because I think uh, this swamp thing is much more powerful than a lot of verticals out there, and it can take the abuse because of the uh, half inch thick AR wedge. That's a one-piece wedge. It's not, it's part of the substructure. It's not like a lot of the wedges that are bolted on to different robots that get ripped off. This won't uh, be able to do that. If they catch the wedge, you're gonna spin the whole robot. But uh, I think that it's gonna make a statement. I I'm pretty happy with this design. Awesome. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is the tallest member of your team the youngest? Yeah, that's correct. What are you feeding this kid? McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs>